Hi, this video is going to talk about the Firefly dashboard. Um, I'm going to go over the different buttons and reports that we see here um, and just kind of how a clerk or operator might use this page. So the first thing we see here are these quick links. Um, these buttons are all the same as these buttons up here. The primary difference is that these um, larger buttons only show on the dashboard. So this first one we see here on the left is the reservation grid. This is your grid, your calendar view, how you can visually see all your reservations. This is the button for creating a new reservation in your system. This is the button that can take you to search your reservations. You could search by lookup code or name. Um, and then if you need to make quick edits to your units, you can go here or if you need to access your point of sale. In Firefly, there's many ways to get to all these places. This is just the easiest right when you get signed in. As we come down here to the reports, some are just a high level park overview. You might not need your day to day. For example, your occupancy, um, you see a month over time trend of reservation payments and then some other statistics here as well. Um, and then as we scroll down here on my screen, we're going to see recent payment activity. This is very helpful, especially if you get those payments that don't go through for whatever reason or if you want to see what's happening. Um, then we have recurring charges that are coming up, overdue charges. Hopefully your guests are a lot better than mine. Um, and then down here we're going to see an upcoming arrival and upcoming departures. Just like these reports appear when I highlight over, they get gray. Um, these are going to be live links as well. So you can click on any of them and it's going to take you right to the reservation. So if you have a handful of upcoming arrivals or departures for the day, this is a great place to get started to see what's happening um, in the activity that is going on at your park. 